Wholesale physiology can affect the level of expression. We have discussed different factors that can maximize the expression of the cloned gene that started from the strength of promoters, initiation of translation, and then we focused on the stability of the messenger RNA and code on choice. Uh, of course, the copy number of plasmid, it is also uh, very important. And later on, we also discussed about the uh, uh, structural or segregative instability of the recombinant uh, plasmids uh, that it can also influence the level of expression of the uh, target gene. Another factor that is also very, very important and it is the host physiology and especially the conditions that, uh, that we are going to use for the culturing of the host organism. Okay, just uh, host ko like E. coli ya bacillus subtilis ko humne ya koi or eukaryotic microbe like yeast ko humne transform kiya hai. So, usko hum kin conditions ke under grow kar rahe hai. Usko nutrient ki supply kya di hai. Cultural conditions kya hai. Cultural conditions mein yabhi aja ta ki nutrient ka level kya hai. Gaseous requirement kya hai. Or pH ya temperature humne kitna maintain kya hai. So, all these conditions like the level of nutrition, uh, environmental factors like the uh, maintenance of the temperature for growth and even the pH they can also influence the host organism uh, growth or the rate of cell division and at the same time uh, directly we can say that it can also influence the level of uh, gene expression. Initially it was noticed that while the uh, cloning of human growth hormone like the insulin, the high expression, it leads to the accumulation or in other words we can say that uh, uh, the accumulation of aggregation uh, of the target protein or the growth hormone uh, which we can call them as the inclusion bodies. The inclusion bodies ke tor par insko detect kiya gaya jab high expression hua uh, insulin ka. Like its ki jo chain A hai ya chain B hai so, wo instable thi, aggregate bina diya cell ke andar. Uh, they were not functional. They were deposited at the uh, inclusion bodies. So, this problem was later on tackled uh, or overcome by different uh, uh, groups of scientists. Like it was uh, suggested that if the temperature it is maintained at low level, then the proteins they will become more stable and inclusion bodies uh, they will not produced when uh, cell they are showing relatively slow growth rate at low temperature the accumulation of the inclusion bodies it can be uh, avoided in addition to that uh, some other conditions like uh, the availability of uh, nutrition and even the pH it must also be taken into consideration while uh, such problems like the inclusion body appearance if it is there. In addition to cultural conditions, uh, some other chaperone proteins uh, that help in the proper folding of the uh, target protein, they can also uh, manage the problem of inclusion bodies. For example, a chaperone protein which is called as DNAK if, the, if it is expressed or produced simultaneously with growth hormone like the insulin then the production of inclusion bodies it can be avoided. In addition to that some other chaperone proteins like the growl or gross system they are also equally important. Even the minor changes in amino acid sequence like if amino acid sequence it changes from uh, cysteine to uh, serine then such minor changes it can also increase the stability of the expressed protein.
and the last factor that can also influence the copy number of the uh, genes or plasmid it is the use of minimal medium for example if minimal or mineral mediums uh, it is used where all the quantities of the media components they are known and supplemented with different carbon sources depending upon the requirement then the uh, copy number of the genes it may be managed three to four times depending which type of minimal media we are using and which type of carbon sources we are using for its supplementation so we can say that uh, different factors in addition to the cloning all the cloning it is also very very important if we have managed to insert our target gene into the plasmid so that we have a recombinant plasmid or vector and able to transform the host organism after that different factors will determine that whether it is going to express or not and even if it is expressing then another concern is that the expression is high or low and there are different factors that we can manage to maximize the expression of the cloned gene